welcome to my channel. It's me, Nikki Schmader. I am so glad you guys are tuning in today. Today we're gonna to be talking about pregnancy. I'm gonna be getting real with you guys, really transparent about just how it affects me mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, this is my second pregnancy and just how maybe the first pregnancy might have been different than this one. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, I am 20 weeks pregnant tomorrow, so I am halfway done, which is crazy. Like, this one just flew by, and I don't know why, if it's because I already have a baby, or Noelia, I still call her my baby. Um, so I'm already busy doing mom life, or I've already been through it, so the anticipation and not knowing what's going on isn't really there this time. I don't know, but I just feel like these 20 weeks have just, coming on, but that's probably not gonna be the case for the second half as, as mamas know, cause that's when you grow faster, you get bigger, it, things get harder. So tune in in 20 weeks and we'll see how I feel. But anyway, so guys, I feel super, super great still. Um, you know, not much has changed. Like I, if you've been watching my videos and you've been following me on Instagram, which is at Nikki Schmader underscore fit, um, I've talked about this and how I don't feel a thing like with, with pregnancy, meaning like I'm not sick, I don't feel like tired. I mean, I have my tired days, but I do a lot. So I just think that's kind of normal in that sense. But I thankfully have had really, really great pregnancies. And I know that can change still because I still have halfway to go. But I've just been so blessed that I've been able to have two pregnancies that have brought me such joy. Um, I don't mind being pregnant honestly and we'll get into this video and I'll discuss like how that isn't always the case but in the grand scheme of things I really I really do enjoy it it is such a beautiful thing it does help that I feel good and I know that some of you are like haha but you feel good I know but um, that's just me being honest that's my perspective on it I really do enjoy it I love being able to feel the little baby inside the belly start to move and just to have that reassurance and it's such like a God thing. Um, you all should know that I'm really open about my faith and I, it's just, it's just really a moment that I feel like a woman can really feel God's love and just be reassured in his plan and just be amazed just by the process of just how you are literally making a human life human from the very very beginning from the start of conception and how you know it's just your duty just to bring them into this world and just to it's just it's just insane to me and then just the love of a mom like I never understood like Christ's love that agape love until oh my gosh I'm getting emotional already um until I became a parent if you're a mom or a parent watching this, you know that there's just nothing like being a parent. And wow, we haven't even got into like the stuff yet, and I'm already crying. Um, but again, it just shows you like it's just such an emotional um, topic. And I'm so happy that I started my blog and I started my YouTube and everything because I want to connect with you guys and to connect with maybe the mom that isn't doing so well in her pregnancy or is scared or whatever, because I've been there too with my first pregnancy with Noelia, and we'll get into that. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. Um, but this week I asked you guys over on Instagram, over my stories, to send me questions that you might have regarding um, me and pregnancy, meaning like maybe how I've been feeling, but like more so like emotionally and mentally, like. How are you handling it? How are you handling the changes? And are you handling working, working out, and just knowing that life's gonna change yet again? So I will get into those. So um, a little bit of backtrack before we get into questions. So with Noelia, um, I got pregnant with her when I was 22. So Brody and I had just gotten married. I was 22, he was 23. We were fresh out of college. Um, and I would have had it any other way. The world, wants to tell you that you need to wait for this and that and you need to have this in place and have that in place and let me just tell you like life doesn't stop and it doesn't start when you want it to start and in my opinion if you know without a shadow of a doubt that you want to be with somebody or you want to start something like 
doing it is following your heart. So for us, like, you know, we had some people be like, oh, you're so young, you're so young. It's like, I don't think we're that young at all. <laughs> you know, like my mom got married when she was 19. So to me, it was like a no brainer to marry Brody. But like, so we got married and three months later, I got pregnant with Noelia and it was not planned. Like we were the typical couple that was like, oh, we're gonna be married, like do all these fun things together, travel a little bit, and maybe like when we're closer to like, you know, 20, 28, start thinking about kids. Like we really just did not have kids in mind. We knew we wanted kids obviously, but we, it was more so me. Brody probably would have had them right away, but like, well we did, but um, I just had all these plans and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having goals and plans, but I, I wanted to dance. I wanted to, um, move. I, I, we wanted to move to Texas. I wanted to try to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And so when I got pregnant with her, it was like my whole world just went from this to this. And I was beside myself. And, and you know, I wrote a blog post about this, which I can link um, in the description here, but I did not handle it well. I was mad. I was mad at God. I was mad at Brody, <laughs> but it takes two to tango. <laughs> but like, I was, I was just mad because it was not in my plans. You know, I know we've all been there where things happen in our life that are out of our control. And because it doesn't, didn't go our way, we, we don't know how to handle it because we're such a take, take, take society. We want things instantaneously. We want it our way. Um, we all struggle with that. And so when something did not go my way, especially something as big as a pregnancy, after just getting married, we're 22 years old, we just started full-time jobs, we're living in an apartment, we don't have a lot of money. Like, we were just beside ourselves, but more so me just because it's like, no, I have these plans to, to do things that involve my body. Like I want to, you know, I was doing fitness competitions and I was like, no, I want to do another bikini show and I want to dance. And I like, like, no, like this is like, this can't happen because I didn't plan it type thing. And you know, God just slapped me in the face, like figuratively. <laughs> and, and, but I'm so, so happy he did. So with that pregnancy, the first, you know, 10 weeks or so before I saw the baby on the ultrasound. I was just really in denial, just really mad. I I was so selfish in the sense of my body just because, you know, it's a no-brainer. Our bodies change when we're pregnant and some things change forever. You know, you can get stretch marks, you can, you know, widen, you can, um, there's so many things that could happen. So all of that's going through my mind, like I'm never gonna be the same, I'm never gonna like be myself, like all of these selfish thoughts, like yes, they're naturally human thoughts, but like it was just beside myself and it was just like, I just couldn't handle it. Then I saw, ah, <laughs> um, God, I saw, Noelia on ultrasound and it was like the best thing that had ever happened to me and you know just seeing that little little peanut just bounce around and um you see their hearts flicker and it was just I'll never forget it gosh you guys <laughs> I'll never forget it it was like I, my whole world, my whole life plan, God just laid out in front of me and he said, you don't have to worry, I got you. You know, trust me, I know the desires of your heart before you do. And he was so true. And he still continues to prove me wrong <laughs> all the time. And I'm so glad that he does because we have such a selfish nature and but just seeing her on that ultrasound, oh my gosh, my world changed. And I just became a different person. Like, of course, I still had selfish thoughts. Like, oh, I'm going to get stretch marks and all this stuff. But, like, it was different. It was, this is my responsibility and my, like, greatest desire is to carry this baby. 
and to bring her into the world and she's changed my life that girl oh my gosh I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you crying <laughs> if it wasn't for her there'd be no Viva Noel there'd be no um blog there'd be no there'd be nothing because she inspired everything that I do right now which is why my blog is named after her in a way and so if you're somebody that's scared to get pregnant or you're putting it off for maybe it's a selfish reason we all have our reasons like every woman has reasons that they don't want to like conceive right away but if it's something silly like you don't want your body to change or even if it's money too like you figure it out you really really do and you can't let life stop you there's never a perfect time there's never a perfect moment Oh my goes with anything but I feel like you know this world tells you that you need so everything in line you need to have this much money and and this done and that done for what to show what like it's just she just really opened my life okay so I got some tissue so I think we're good <laughs> so um, yeah sorry I got so emotional there but it's just it really is such a hard topic for me to talk about just because I was so upset at first with Noelia and I carry that guilt with me all the time just of how I acted and but then again I wouldn't change it for the world too because it shows me like the love of God and how we just need to lay down you know our, ourselves and our selfish ways and our desires because he truly does know what we want and he, like if again if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have what I have today in so many ways.